I actually, my sophomore year of college, um, went into Cleveland. I actually hung out with uh, now business partner Ray Holland, who wrote this book. Um, and he had just started making little batches of biodiesel at the brewery. And it was totally awesome. We like went on a field trip for, for a class I was in, hung out with Ray, made a batch of biodiesel with him. And, and like the thing which really struck me about it is that like, you know, it was, it was making your own fuel and it really wasn't that complicated. It was like I totally understood what Ray was doing. Um, and so, and that's one of the things which I think a lot of people get excited about. This is technology that's like safe, you can do it at home, you can do it yourself, it's, it's totally doable. Um, and the idea of making your own fuel is a really powerful idea. Yeah, this is a straight vegetable oil powered vehicle, which means we did all these fancy modifications so that this truck can now burn vegetable oil. Unmodified, just filtered restaurant grease. Um, which is totally different than biodiesel. Um, and that's one of the, the biggest misconceptions out there is that, oh, you have to modify your vehicle to run it on biodiesel. That's absolutely not true. Um, any diesel vehicle that's, that's out there, you can pour biodiesel right into the tank. You know, this fill door, which comes from, from the factory, um, you still put diesel or biodiesel right in there, um, whatever you want to do. But we also built an entire additional fuel system. Um, and uh, the part which you actually, the only part you really interact with um, when you're driving the vehicle is a switch on the dashboard. But there's you know a bunch of different ways to convert a diesel to run a vegetable. They all work. You know clearly I think ours is the best. <laughs> um, that's why we do it. But uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that any of the other systems don't work. There's a mil there's probably 10 or 12 other systems out there I could name right now. This book is a really cool book and just sort of lists all the different companies out there and they all work. One of the really interesting thing too of uh, straight vegetable versus biodiesel is the Biodiesel's uh, limited supply and availability. There's one station in Cleveland right now that sells it. Um, whereas straight vegetable oil, while people think it's limited supply, it's actually much more abundant. There are so many restaurants <laughs> all over the place that, that you can drive across country with a straight vegetable oil powered vehicle. We actually have a, a gentleman who did it and got the Guinness Book of World Records to follow him and document the process. But you know, you can do that and you can find vegetable oil anywhere. Yum. Makes me hungry. It smells like fried french fries. The cool thing um, from the restaurant's point of view is that we're local guys. We show up whenever they want, you know, once a week if they want. That's actually how often we collect from restaurants. We don't charge them anything. Um, we give them really good PR. We always talk about the restaurants that we work with. Um, and honestly, it's just like it's fun for them. It's a fun relationship. The, the, the incentive for the rendering company is to wait as long as possible before coming out. So they literally want everything to be totally full so it's like worth their drive from Cleveland to come and grab the grease. And the incentive for us is like, oh, you got two gallons in a bucket? Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you can drive 60 miles on that. <laughs> so then I started a local initiative called Biodiesel Overland, just saying, hey guys, I know how to buy, build a biodiesel processor. It's really not that hard. Let's, like, let's hang out and, and do something. And we started building a processor. Um, my senior year, got an EPA grant to sort of really make that thing, the slick thing, which you actually see out at the farm today. So it's installed in a trailer. It's a mobile facility. It's all off the grid. It uses you know, a bike-powered mixing chamber, so you don't have to plug anything in. So we can actually drive it to the farm where Actually, you're wired now, but where they weren't wired before, and, and use it, you know, on site. That's it, Brad. So, so that's the difference. Uh, biodiesel, straight into any diesel motor, no modifications, um, and it's chemically been processed to be as thin as diesel fuel. Um, whereas straight vegetable oil, uh, serious modifications to your vehicle. But once you're done, you can just put the grease straight in, waste heat from the vehicle thins out the vegetable oil, and then it's good to run. A bucket a gallon isn't that cheap, like it kind of sucks. I wish we could do it cheaper than that, we really can't. But at the same time, we're like a buck a gallon cheaper than diesel. So for absolutely no hassle, save a dollar a gallon and to do the right thing that's like clean burning, domestic, renewable, all that good stuff. Um, there's some pretty strong incentives built in. I think we'll go 